Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole with Second Swing Golf, joined today here in the tour van by Bella McCauley. She is a member of the University of Minnesota women's golf team. And today we're going to be uh, hitting some drivers at different settings. So we've got Bella's Gamer Driver here, which is a Titleist TSI-3. And we're going to play around with a different, uh, a few different settings on the Titleist SureFit Hosel. So um, first, Bella, let's talk about what you've got set up right now. Obviously a TSI-3, but at nine degrees on the stated loft, but what do we have for the hosel setting there? Yeah, exactly. So for my setting, I have C4, which is basically set up for a high fade. Mm -hmm. And so I have a natural draw swing. So that setting kind of helps me um, even it out, if you will, and hit a little bit straighter. So um, the mm -hmm. settings catered perfectly to my swing um, kind of helps the draw be a little bit more controlled. So, yeah. yeah, and if you've seen any other videos that we've had of, of Bella on the channel hitting driver, it's a pretty consistent just always the draw. Uh, small little <laughs> draw there. But so today we're going to kind of have some fun with this and this I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go because um, we will be 100% sure to move the settings back when we're done so that you've got that C4 back <laughs> in your in your driver at the end. But we're going to go good. using the SureFit Hosel chart. We are going to go from C4 maybe to a strong draw setting, which would be the A3. And we might go down to say D2, which yeah. would be almost a low hook, if you will. Oh, so we're going to really mess with, with Bella's settings here a little bit just to see how much of a difference it really makes for someone um, of her swing caliber. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see, especially with my already draw swing, see what a extra yeah. draw setting will do to it. But yeah, we'll, maybe we'll put see. Mr. Aaron Roth's fitting uh, uh, I guess testing abilities. here, to, yeah, fitting <laughs> abilities to the test here. So, um, you ready to hit some shots here? We'll start with the standard, what ready you have go? in your driver already. So, we'll get you comfortable there. Perfect. Let's do it. Ooh. That little toe, maybe? Yeah, I think so. I just thought, I just figured the low spin on it. There it is. That was better. Yep, there's that draw. Yeah. Maybe a little bit low on the face there. Uh, yeah, that was a little bit low. Yeah, Keely. just I saw the spin that time go up a little bit. That'll happen. Yep. But it still is out there comfortably and right in the middle. That's kind of the goal to have misses that aren't too, too bad. Mm -hmm. See, that one's even still. I think that's still in the fairway. Even, even that. I know that was. A little bit more right to left than you hope for. Oh, it's close. Still very much in play. All right, a little bit more right and left. Yeah, that's okay. Let's get a let's get a one or two more here. Cut. There's a good one right there. Yeah. All right. Interesting. A little bit more dispersion, but yeah, we got a big, uh, bigger, bigger gap here. Bigger, uh, yeah. But I think so. We're, there's, there's that high draw that you like to hit, right? And yeah. Actually, for most of the shots, it was up there. And we, again, I'm gonna note this is a very, very skinny fairway on this screen. Mm -hmm. um, you're not gonna typically get something that skinny that you're actually hitting on the golf course, but. Um, and then, yeah, just a few that hung out there and didn't quite draw for you. No big deal there, obviously. Um, so, let's see, we'll take out a few of these here. We'll go with this one. Maybe this one here. Yeah. And then this one was the one that you just kind of missed a little bit, but we'll kind of yep. keep it there for now. Um, okay, so here's kind of our, our dispersion to start with. And so for you, you, you have it in, in this setting because you kind of almost, with your draw, you almost want it to start out a little bit right and then come back. Right? Yes. That's sort of your goal. So what I'm afraid of, or I guess not afraid of, but what I'm anticipating will happen is when we move something here into a strong draw setting, um, that ball won't start right. It'll start left and then move farther left. Yeah. Um, which, so I'm, I'm, what I'm going to look for is the dispersion circles to kind of move that way. But, exactly. Let's see um, how that goes. Yeah, I'm, this, kind of, there's, I'm there's curious a, to see too. Yeah, there's a reason that it's, you're not. It's not on your driver right now. So that'll be interesting to see. I don't think I've I've had a draw uh, setting on it in like 
ever. So yeah, have you played? <laughs> did you play Titleist before the TSI three? Because this yes. is you did. Yep. Okay. I've been with Titleist for actually like a really long time. Yeah. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is put that club down and tell me what you see. Do you see that club I, potentially? I don't see a ton of okay. difference, but. If anything, I do, I can tell it's like set up a little bit with a closed face, like yeah. a little bit more for the draw, um, at least compared to what I have. Yeah, yeah, that's probably what I anticipated. The other thing about this setting is it's actually showing a tad bit more loft. So what I anticipate too is it might even <laughs> launch a little bit higher. Yeah. See, there's our, I mean, we're, we're two shots in and, and both are left of the, the center line so yep. far. Ooh, there's, there's some turning right there. Yeah, that's a big left. It's kind of what I, I mean, that's kind of what I thought might happen. Ooh. Yep. There's some more left. <laughs> the consistent left. I think it's again. <laughs> yup. Wow. You maybe missed that one a little bit too. I did not hit that one good, but. Yeah. That one was hit better. All right. Still the draw. Yeah, well, the, the draw, that's a good drive. I mean. That one was good. Yeah. That one's really good. Uh, the only issue is going to be. The, uh, these ones over here. Um, yep. So I think for the sake of being fair to both, we'll take this one out here. Perfect. Um, so now we've got our two, and you can definitely see how the, the trend starts to kind of emerge. I mean, yeah. the farthest right ball that you hit was about 20 yards. About the same as, or as, you know, on the dispersion map, right, as far left yep. as the farthest left ball you hit with your C4 setting. Exactly, and that's kind of one of the things for me is, um, it might not look at here, but typically like my miss on the golf course is left, and so minimizing that yeah. um, and being able to actually like almost miss right yeah. on the golf course is kind of the goal just because mm -hmm. um, it'll kind of offset what my normal Yeah, well, I mean, is. I think what you've done with what, what the C4 setting does for you, as I, I think it does create a one-way miss, which is huge. You know, exactly. if, you, if you have a, a, a bad swing, it's, you know which way it's going to go. You yep. know it's going to go out to the right. And if you no, you fully commit to that swing, the worst you're going to do is maybe hang it out a little bit to the right. Exactly. But most of the time, you're going to get that draw down the middle. And now with this A3 setting, you even had a couple there that were kind of that low, almost duck hooky, hooky if you will. Hooky, yeah, yeah for and, sure. And uh, that can be disaster. So. Yep. Um, all right, so I'm going to mix it up here a little bit, and we're going to go from A3 to D2. Oh, goodness. D2 now. Is even lower. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a much lower loft, but also draw favored. So yep. probably even worse for you than this one was. So this might be, this right. might be really bad. Let's see. That actually will probably be worse. <sighs> Low and left. This is a uh, not what do we need? need not the combo we need. I should probably clarify too for the viewers. This is absolutely the opposite of what we do in club fittings. We want we try to fit you what's best for you. We yes. do not experiment with things for fun. The things that don't work for you. But this is just for the video. Yeah, and I think it shows <laughs> how sometimes people mess with settings and they don't really know what they're doing. Um, and I think it just shows mm -hmm. how important it is to have it like specifically catered to you. I think there's also, I think well, one of the things that we hear all the time from, from golfers and customers is that they don't mess with it at all. And oh, okay. sometimes they're missing out on something that could be much better for them. That's true um, too. Now, again, we're kind of showing the extremes today of that's possible. Yeah. But, you know, there's big differences that can be had by just making some adjustments with the, the hosel that's on your driver. So the technology is so nice now where that's like possible. Why not take advantage of it, you know? Right, right. And that's the thing is so many times like, you know, golfers will come in here and it's, oh, I got to get a new driver. I can't hit this one straight. I keep missing it to the left or I can't miss it to the mm -hmm. right. And, and sometimes all it is is 
you don't need to spend 400 bucks on a new driver. We just got to make a quick tweak here. A new setting. All right, so this is the that D2. That feels even worse. Yeah, <laughs> right away she knows it. Okay. Oh, goodness. That's a little bit of what I expected. This is the D2 setting again, and this is so, like the it. last setting that you hit was A3, which is a degree and a half higher than standard. And this one is actually is a a three quarters of a degree below standard loft. So you're hitting oh, a driver now wow. that is, this driver is now set essentially at 8.25 degrees. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. Do you see, okay, so you said you could see subtly that the club was closed yeah. with the last one. Do you see that still here or no? I, I still see it incomparable to this. I don't know that it's like obviously less loft. Like that's okay. not something I'll see. Okay. Um, I don't notice that, but it's, I can definitely tell it's a little bit close compared to my normal yeah. setting. We're definitely seeing that's, I mean, hey, that one, <laughs> that one works. <laughs> like it works, but it's not great. It's funny because you probably hit that ball and you're like, that feels pretty good, you know? And you, it's one of your, I mean, subjectively, one of your, I, guess, I mean, worst the drives smash factor is good. It's just too far left. Yeah, it's just taken off a lot lower. Like really low. And that's like a control draw, but like, so low. And yeah, like, it's low, which you're going to, you know, if you're on a dry golf course, that one works. But if you're on a, a soft course, courses. that won't, that one won't go anywhere. That one could be good. Based that on, one felt good. Yeah, that one could be good. There we it go. It started right, so yeah. that helps. Do you feel like you might be doing a little bit of manipulation too as you swing, trying to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Because it feels so foreign to like, I can tell it's closed, so then like yeah. coming up square. Yeah, no, in the swing, like I better open this up. Like that was well hit. Um, Definitely lower though again. Just yeah. so low. Yeah, like, yeah. Like That's smash funny. factor's that was, great. That was probably the best actual strike that you yeah. had. Smash factor's like super good. I mean, mm -hmm. looks like 1.48 was the average. Yeah, and I mean, like, you're hitting them all really good. So It's let's just see. so low. Yeah, we, I mean, that we'll take out, I guess this is maybe the worst. I mean, they're all, honestly, they're pretty, they're all hit pretty well. Just for the sake of it, we'll take that one out. And so, but yeah, here's what we got now for, for this map. So we'll make this one bigger and you can see that trend kind of starts to further go left. We got more, yep. more balls over here off the fairway left in this kind of bunker here. You did have the one really good one up here. Yeah. Um, worth noting on distance, you're still king with your actual c4 setting yep. um i also wanted to show uh, the average uh light or uh, launch angle excuse me because we saw that really dip with this when you went yep. down in loft so Huge. the ball was not going nearly as high and the result of that is not carrying near as yep. far yep so it's funny because right now i mean you could look at this and i think without knowing what setting was your your gamer setting, I think you, I think most people would put you right at C4. Exactly. I mean, you can see here, even from the C4 to A3, that's a 10 yard difference in carry. Yep. Like that's mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. And this is funny because I think, you know, the A1 setting is the standard, you know, on the Surefit Hosel. And so your C4 is not a drastic change from that. It's just a kind of slightly higher ball flight, maybe mm -hmm. slightly towards um, a fade bias, but it, does show how a little tweak like that can, I mean, it gains you 10 yards of carry distance. Um, and if you're playing a, a really, a setting that's really not right for you, you might be losing out on a lot more than 10 yards carry. Exactly. Um, and then also, as we bring up that dispersion again, we can see here, we've got basically two of your best three drives of the day here were with your C4 gamer setting. We had one here with this D2 that you, you smoked, but I think anybody looks at, and this is a small sample, but I think the C4 setting is right for you for yeah. many reasons here. We'll stick with that. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that I would recommend that too. Um, and I better make sure I replace that on your driver before I get yelled at. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's one of those things. I think we're always going to encourage golfers to, you know, even if you think you're hitting the ball pretty good off the tee, maybe it's just experimenting with some of these things on your driver. It might not be a Titleist. It could be a different brand. 
and maybe one of these other settings actually does work better for you. Obviously, exactly. Bella, you're pretty dialed in and you work with Aaron a lot and know this is what I need. Um, but this was pretty fascinating and I think you probably know, hey, nothing draw bias is probably not what I need right now. No, exactly. And it's just every swing is different. I think majority of swings often like actually fade. Um, just your average golfer and so sometimes you might need the draw bias. So just yeah. knowing what works for you is really important mm -hmm. and um, definitely something to take advantage of. Absolutely. Well, uh, Bella, thank you for the demonstration here and hitting the shots, which was really good. Um, I'll just quick take the driver back and we'll set it back <laughs> to the seat Thank you. <laughs>